By saying that the back of unbelief has been broken, Beduzeman means that the influence of unbelief has declined. Unbelief will come to an intellectual end in the time of Hazrat Mahdi, peace be upon him. Beduzeman dealt a major intellectual blow to irreligion through his faith-related activities. However, that intellectual blow only diminished the influence of unbelief. It did not eliminate it entirely. In his sermon at the Damascus Mosque, our master described developments that would take place in the Islamic world after Hijri 1371, 1952 AD. He said in that sermon that unbelief would be neutralized entirely in the time of Hazrat Mahdi, peace be upon him, and cited such explicit timings as 30 to 40 years and half a century after Hijri 1371 to say that the definitive defeat of unbelief would come in the Hijri 1400s. For sure, maybe not now, after Hijri 1371, but in 30 to 40 years time, in order to fully equip to perfection the three forces of science, true knowledge, acquired through arts, science, and skills, and the virtues of civilization, and to overcome those nine obstacles, the desire to search for the truth, equity, and love of humanity will be dispatched to the fronts of those nine enemy squadrons. They have already started to drive them back. Allah willing, in half a century, they will scatter them completely. Maybe not now, but in 30 to 40 years time. Beduzeman gives the date when unbelief will be defeated. Not now, not in my time in other words, but in 30 to 40 years time, in other words, 30 to 40 years after Hijri 1371. Hijri 1371 plus 30 equals Hijri 1401, which is equal to 1981 AD. Hijri 1371 plus 40 equals Hijri 1411, which equals 1991 AD. In order to fully equip to perfection the three forces of science, true knowledge acquired through arts, science, and skills, and the virtues of civilization, this means that Hazrat Mahdi, peace be upon him, will make full use of all aspects of science and technology to overcome those nine obstacles. Beduzeman uses the term to overcome. Breaking the back of unbelief is not the same as scattering it intellectually. Scattering and defeating it means, in the same way that the Prophet Moses, peace be upon him, burned the golden calf and scattered its ashes into the sea, Intellectually neutralizing unbelief, removing all the scourges that give rise to irreligion, and putting an end to suffering, oppression, injustice, and wrongs. Unbelief did not come to an end in the time of our master Bidu Zeman. The scourges leading to irreligion were not eliminated, and suffering, oppression, and injustice did not come to an end. By Allah's leave, Hazrat Mahdi, peace be upon him, will accomplish all these things together with his followers. The desire to search for the truth, equity and love of humanity will be dispatched to the fronts of those nine enemy squadrons. This means that Hazrat Mahdi, peace be upon him, will wage his intellectual struggle with love and affection and he will eliminate irreligion with the true and concrete proofs of religion. Allah willing, in half a century they will scatter them completely. Beduzeman again gives a date. In half a century, in other words, 50 years after Hijri 1371. That makes Hijri 1421 or 2001 AD. In half a century, 1371 plus 50 equals 1421, which equals 2001. Our master Beduzeman points to another important fact in this passage when he refers to scattering them completely. A thing being scattered completely means it is broken beyond repair. In other words, by saying, in half a century, they will scatter them completely, Beduzeman is saying that through Hazrat Mahdi, peace be upon him, irreligion will be completely neutralized half a century after him.